Touch coins. Tapping your way to count money. Before you can count money, you need to become familiar with the coins and quickly identify them. After you know the coins, you can use touch points to help find the sum of a set of coins. There is one major rule you need to remember when using the touch coins. Every touch point is worth five. Since every touch point is worth five, you'll need to be able to skip count by fives to find the values of the coins. You will also need to remember the placement of the touch points on each coin. These first two steps, identifying the coins and knowing where the touch points go on each coin, are necessary for success in counting coins. Let's look at the main coins we use for counting money. The first coin is a quarter. It has five touch points. Skip counting by five reveals that a quarter is worth 25 cents. Notice the Z pattern used for counting the touch points. Using a Z pattern will help avoid counting errors. The next coin is a dime. It has two touch points. Skip counting by fives reveal that a dime is worth 10 cents. The next coin is a nickel. It has only one touch point and so it is worth only 5 cents. The last coin is a penny. A penny has no touch points. To remind us that we don't count by fives for this coin, we draw a box around it. There's a little poem that helps remind us to count pennies by one. If there's one, or if there's many, put a box around the penny. Now let's see the touch coins in action. When given a set of coins, it is best to separate the silver coins from the copper pennies. Draw the touch points on the silver coins and put boxes around the pennies. Then use the touch points to skip count by fives. When you're done with the touch points, continue counting the pennies. Be sure to count by one and not five when counting the pennies. The great thing about the touch coins is that it doesn't matter what order the silver coins are placed in. It is best, however, to count the pennies last. This last slide shows how you would find the sum of a set of coins from a worksheet. The coins on a worksheet are not usually lined up in order, so you will need to draw the coins. Coins are represented by circles and touch points are added to match the coins from the problems you are solving. Once you draw the coins, skip count the touch points and count on for the pennies to find the total. Touch coins make it easy to count money.